today I'm actually doing the seven day cabbage soup diet and uh, in this video I'm going to be giving you the recipe to the cabbage soup but let me go ahead and tell you all uh, what you can eat during this diet so day one you eat nothing but fruit you can eat all the fruits you like except for bananas day two eat nothing but vegetables any vegetable you like except for starchy vegetables like corn day three you eat fruits and veggies and the bananas and corn applies to day three too day four you eat only bananas milk and yogurt day five you eat only tomatoes protein like fish turkey and chicken day six you eat protein the fish chicken and turkey and all your veggies except for corn and then, and then day seven, you eat just fruits, veggies, and juices. And um, I guess on day seven, you're not supposed to eat the corn and the um, and the bananas too. But um, every single day, you can eat as much as the cabbage soup you like. So that's the diet. That's how it goes. And let's go ahead and get started on this recipe. Let me just tell y'all, this soup is so good, very, very tasty. So the ingredients I used are uh, two cloves of garlic and about a cup of onions, chopped up onions. And then I used a cup of celery, and then I have seasonings here. I used a teaspoon and a half of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and half a teaspoon of oregano. And I like to just mix those together and pour them in when I get ready to uh, pour in my ingredients. And then I have a cup of leeks, and then I have a cup of green bell peppers and half a cup of carrots and then I have an entire head of cabbage and I also included some uh, chopped tomatoes I like to get the canned tomatoes uh, the kind that's the sweet basil is so good in this recipe so I started off preheating my pot and I poured about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil into the pot. And I preheated the pot on medium heat for about five minutes before I did that. And then I just kind of swirled it around to make sure the oil was covering the entire pot. And then I added in my garlic and onions. And I made sure the garlic and onions were a little tender before I added the rest of the ingredients. Then the celery was added and I mixed it in very well with the garlic and onion And then in goes the carrots and the bell pepper. And I also mix those in very well with the previous ingredients.
the leeks and I also mix those in very well and then I let all of that uh, cook until it's just slightly tender after the veggies are slightly tender I add in about four cups of chicken broth and then I mix it in very well and bring it to a boil Okay, now it's boiling and this is the part when I add in my seasonings I just pour those in and then I stir it in really well And then when that's stirred in really well, I add my cabbage. And in goes the diced tomatoes. And then I just kind of uh, try to push it down, but it'd be okay because once it starts uh, really cooking, the cabbage is gonna cook down and all of it is gonna mesh really well together. All right, and so this is what it looks like. It's cooking. And I let it cook on uh, about medium-low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I stir it periodically to make sure uh, nothing's burning. It shouldn't burn at that temperature, but I just go in and stir it periodically and mix everything around so everything can get mixed up real well. what it looks like while it's cooking and then your cabbage soup is ready and so I try to do this diet maybe once a month it's a very very good detox um, it cleanses your body you feel really really clean after this seven day diet it can be difficult in the beginning, but once you try it and keep going with it, you get really used to it. So have yourself a big old bowl of cabbage soup, and I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up.